Greetings everyone, and great here for another Dawn of War 2 Elite Mod replay. Spawn on the north side as the Lord Commissar, we have Zero Cry. Spawn as the biggest and the strongest, we have Ligget. Spawn as the Farseer, not Farseer, Lord Inquisitor, I don't know what I was thinking. We have all our own. And Spawn as the Plague Champion, we have a foreign name. Let's see, Shooters and the Shooters has pretty standard. We do have Sentinel and the Imperial Guards, pretty standard. And all the pure guards, pretty standard. And now we got Chaos Marines, the Heretics. So everybody's going for pretty standard build orders. Do you know how the Lord Commissar and the Sentinel Vince Four trying to get some damage there onto the Plague Champion? It's a good damage there. We've got the Plague or Chaos Marines now engaging. Power take up the shield generator of the Lord Commissar. Sentinel receiving a bit of fire there from the boys. They do fall back there. Chaos Marines being tied up in melee by the Lord Commissar. He made that the name in Model World of Zoom, but does not. Taking an opportunity just to hack apart more of the Lord Commissar. Black Marine, very damaged. Starting to receive a bit of fire there from the Sentinel. Lord Commissar does activate his shield generator there. He does fall back now, down to very minimal health there. I don't think we see a stomp there. and does lose the Lord Commissar. And now the Sentinel's having trouble running away. Over here, do you have the Lord Inquisitor receiving a bit of fire there? It does have a model there. Pure Guards will receive a bit of fire there, not falling on back. Over here, we do now have the War Boss push away forward. We seem to get there some Pure Guards, but does find the base turrets. Pure Guards has not been upgraded to start just yet. The other one's not been upgraded either. Some of here does not have a stomp. Oh, here the Sentinel is severely damaged, no stomp on him either. Lord Commissar has been redeployed. And we do not have Sergeant on either of these squads either. That Norse Marine is now being put up by the Blake Champion. We've got a Nurgle Ritual there, getting some good health regen onto these heretics. That makes a van. So no starting to upgrade on these Imperial Guardsmen. Does inside the orc structure. He does fall back with those heretics now. Both of them are falling back. Down center, we do have shooters there. We got the Sentinel and the Imperial Guards with next forward. Does have a starting upgrade there. We also got the bolt pistol for the Lord Inquisitor. Lord's Marines against four, trying to get some good damage. Sentinels getting so much of the repairs. Let's fall back with the Imperial Guardsmen there to avoid any additional item melee. Can't enter the garrison because the Noise Marines is an anti structure tool. Right damage on this Imperial Guardsmen squad, both of them now falling back. We also got the Plague Marines pushing away forwards as well. Oh, here we've got these forces of Vance and four. Imperial Guardsmen get some good damage on the Lord Congor, who puts down again. Got some uh, smoke ground being put up by the artillery spotter. I got the Imperial Guard face forward, getting some damage here onto the Plague Marine. Okay, Shooters or Sluggers trying to face forward. Artillery spotter does roll a miss there with the uh, mortar. There's Imperial Guard from the squad now. See quite a bit of damage there from the Soul Boys, so they're falling them back. This Imperial Guard squad does fall back as well. Does not have to start an upgrade on this one. The other one does. While the Lord of Conflict still does not have such as either of squads. So this is one of those squads and Imperial Guardsmen. That was one without the Sergeant. Now the Plague Marines falling back. Rituals being activated against good health to the gen. And the Havoc setting up a very powerful position there. Able to help lock down the base. We've got a good stun shot there onto the Plague Marines there. Lord Combs are engaging, has been upgraded with the compare case armor, increasing uh, health, health regen, and there's the cost and cooldown of Spire Courage. Chaos Marines advance on board, and here Lord Combs are does fall back in line. And it's getting some good damage there as well. You have another two mortar green dropping in, does avoid this the. Noise Marines. 
Early spotter and sentinel bands to the center of the map. Just some shooters there. This force, uh, Chaos Marine does get suppressed or stunned and knocked back by the sentinel. Eric's trying to overrun that sentinel there, trying to record that tin can. And now we've got so much to run in, trying to gauge these uh, Chaos Marines there. Burners and support as well. Chaos Marines are falling back to see quite a bit of damage there. The Norse are now getting kind of suppressed there by the World of Kalmazar. We have these uh, tactics being pushed back there, does avoid the artillery and the mortar. Makes another mortar there, just a smoke round. War boss fans for trying to get some good damage here. Got some shooters in this mix as well. No upgrades on the shooters, so we do got knobs. Here guards for fans for trying to get some good damage. They've got two artillery spotters for this player. I'm not sure why he went for two artillery spotters. These forces do fall back right there. These forces catch up this power point. We do have a full set of power generators over here, as well as here. Over here, we do got the Sentinel and Imperial Guardsmen engaging these Havoc. That just forced back the Imperial Guardsmen there. Lord of Calms are now engaged in melee. Has been upgraded the Power Sword. Artillery Flare has been pulled out there to reduce max range. And we've got our Mortar Smoke there on top of the Havoc there. You saw his range was down to very, very short with the combination of those two abilities. Now it's just short. Now it's reasonable. Good hit there by the artillery mortar. Norse Marines and Chaos Marines advance forward. Does get some good damage there onto the Sentinel. The like champion severely wounded, being focused down. Now I got the world from the board knocking back these rear guards. Hug Marine does go down there, so it's gonna be pretty hard to recapture him. Great AoE damage there by the Noise Marines as well. Got some good damage there coming on the Havoc. The Pure Guardsmen are now face forward trying to get some good damage over here. May see a stomp. Does get a decent stomp there. So right now the Noise or the Chaos Marines are severely damaging these forces. Havoc could finish it off. More smoke does come on in, just max range, and there goes the center. In the center here, we've got the orcs being forced on the back. And the artillery squad is not going to be hacked apart by the war boss. The damage here, we do now the Lord and Quest advance forward as well, getting engaged by the Lord of Palmazar. Lord of Quest could go for some shot there, but just way outnumbered. Judas are here as well. Now the war boss does fall back in time. Got these forces advancing forward, trying to find another engagement. Stoneboys do jump on in, rolls and missed out there to the responders. Good advancing forward as well, no big shooters research. Daredex charging forward to suppress down the orc boys, the storm boys. And Sentinel does get a stomp there, but only gets one of those models. The rest of them are still in this region. The rest of them are jumping on forward, trying to get their artillery spotter. Focus some damage onto them. And the Bolt Pistol there does cast ability there to snare these forces. The Bolt Pistol does provide the crippling volley, volley ability, which mobilizes enemies in infantry in the area, which includes things such as like Terminators. Havoc set on up, gains a good suppression on the back line or front line. I'm multi last hurt here. I'm not a big fan of the multi last hurt myself, but now I've got a mine drop as well, trying to get some good damage. Artillery spotter bringing a mortar, and with the combination of the, the artillery spotter and the mortar does get a lot of detonation there. We've got plasma guns now pushing forward. 
able to get some great damage there on the Noise Breeze. Noise Breeze are falling back. They do escape out of there. Uh, I think that's the description. Welcome to the channel. We got a ritual being activated there. We do got the Blood Crushers pushing way forward, getting some bites and slashes on the Lord of Palms Arm. Nope. Last defense, K jump in, does do okay damage to the Blood Crusher. With that ritual in the area, does get additional health regen. Havoc's almost down. Havoc needs to fall back. Getting ripped apart by the Multi Blast Hurt. Does get ripped by the Multi Blast Hurt, so. And we've got Stormtroop Melta guns here as well. I did not see those, but great engagement there by the Lord Kalmazar. Artillery spot are raining on in as well. Does get in Sindri Mortar. I want the Multi Blast Hurt and the Sindri Mortar there. That's going to do some great damage. It does wipe out that squad entirely. This Plague Champion has lost a significant number of assets. I haven't really been paying attention down south, but I do have a weird boy to support out the biggest and the strongest. The War Boss has up and upgrade the Enhanced Custom Shooter, the rarest of all the War Boss upgrades, I would say. Oh, it's of all, at least the weapons. Because it's more of a chopper, not a shooter. But he does still have to chop another hand, so he can still chop apart his opponent. Into many small pieces and big pieces. He doesn't care. Now we got the shooters now engaging on in. Storm boys do jump on in. Does not get any damage there. Does not believe which can allow him some suppression there. Blows up one of the small models there. Gets some great damage and knockback there. We've got some stormtroopers here. Unupgraded. That may be a okay, a mortar there. Knocking back those forces there. We got the noise marines. Acting the gloves. Knocking back these forces there. Imperial Guards advance down forward, gets a bit damage down the Havoc as they fall back. We got a Plague Marine here. We got a second Stormtrooper now pulled out by the Lord Inquisitor. She may have spent some red points on some of these Stormtroopers. She's now casting a stun shot there on the Weird Boy, stopping the Vomit from coming out. That's when I stop Vomit. That uh, cast must have uh, smashed his head, closing his mouth, and then he puked in his mouth. <laughs> okay, that was a little bit disgusting. We got this heretic squad uh, irradiating with some sort of effect. We got now the Lord Palms are trying to stop them. Pure guards in here and now the squad are engaging. Shoot a firing way. and see the mortar does connect right there. And Lord of course are pushing forward trying to shoot the artillery squad and try out for hack them apart. Shooters gain some good damage there, forcing back the artillery squad and the uh, sentinel. Regular mortar does rain on end, does roll on this. Lord and Quizzer now falling back. We see a bit of fire there, nothing too significant. And both these stormtroopers are unupgraded. He may be eyeing for motor guns later on. Incendiary Mortar does connect with the ground. He may run to his own cindery effect there. Four columns are getting a bit damaged there. And this Imperial Guardsman has upgraded the Columns Are Leader. Both of them do have Columns Oh, well, this one over here just still only has the Sergeant. Then I got Tier 3 by the Lord Inquisitor. I'm not sure what the Lord Columns Are is at. The War Boss in Tier 2, so it's the Plague Champion. Plague Champion has lost a significant number of assets. Hard to say exactly what he should go for at this moment. A bit of everything, probably. If we have the same being pulled on field, he's still on tier 2, so the Lord Corsair will get tier 3 real soon. Trying to upgrade the Purgatus, a very, very powerful castable ability. It does go to the armor slot, doesn't give any health regen or energy regen. It does give you a massive AOV cast. The scenery mortar does connect right there. Of course, from one cell tier 3's research, it still takes a bit of time for Perkins to research itself. Got a bit of cast on the your guards. Go ahead, boss. And the Lord Inquisitor is falling him back now. We got a detonation over here by the Lord Palmsar. Good at there. Gain some significant amount of damage. Got a mortar there, does not aim one of the models there. Knock it back to sniffing out force. The sentinel does go down. Melton comes now annihilating these power generators. Over trick there, does find some of these landmines there, annihilating those those squaws. Jeez. We lost all of our 
She just lost all of her stormtroopers down to two artillery spotters as well. That may be the best mind drop I've ever seen. He's a power generator there. These forces are falling back there. Oh, and there's a perfect possibility. Sorry, I missed that. But we've got one of the shooters are nearly dead. Five health remaining. Rude boy not getting hacked apart. I probably will take time to try to finish off some of these shooters. Didn't take time to finish off the shooters. They're oh so wounded. Now I've got chosen plague marines. Chosen plague marines can create zombies as they kill stuff. Hitting caution squad being fun field. Good idea. Maybe got to either upgrade with probably melted guns overall. Not melted guns. Plasma guns. I don't know if I'm keeping getting those two mixed up. We've got heavy weapons team setting on up. Being upgraded for auto kin. Relatively rare asset to see. Now it's going to be seizing down these heavy bolter turrets. Does receive a. Oh, ex uh, execute on the model there. That increased the damage there. Sending mortar as well. He's seizing the base with an unusual combination. It's supposed to forward, trying to hack apart these power generators. Could pass try to flank this army. Our ability player being cast, summoned by the global ability by the Lord of Palmazar. Chaos should not be employed on the field. And the power generator does go down. Oh, he's forced from the ground. He actually doesn't have vision, so he's forced fire on the ground. That's what's going on there. Over here, Red is pushing quite hard. Does take out some design to take out some of these power Bit of everywhere. The orc has still the same force on the field. So one boy's jumping on in, trying to engage those chosen plague marines. Gas trying not on the field, able to overwhelm that uh, and there goes that the auto can there thanks to the incendiary mortar. Perfectus has been cast there. We've got now the Metacore there. Annihilates a good chunk of the Imperial Guardsmen. And the Mortar being brought in does knock back the Lord Inquisitor. Lord Comzar is also falling back as well up here. I do see some zombies there thanks to the Chosen Plague Marines. Chosen Plague Marines does 3 out of 4 models. Severely damaged, however. Stormboys are falling back. And there's a lot of zombies now hitting the war boss. Good knockback there by the weird boy onto his own war boss. Get some great damage there as well. And maybe we could either recover the plague champion and get out his own zombie uh, knife. And also against both orcs and against the pure guards, we can get a lot of zombies. We've got two manticores being pulled on the field. Three the cores are nice in 2v2s, but maybe a little bit overkill to go for two at this one time. Kidding Carson Squad being upgraded with grenade launchers. Mandacore Barrage bringing on in. Does get a snare, a uh, melted bomb, melted grenade onto the dreadnought, but does knock back his own stormtroopers there. Seems severe amount of damage. Stormtroopers could come to go down. Like Champion does get a shot there. Smoke round does come on in. Got a incendiary run there as well. Gains some great damage onto those Imperial Guardsmen. Imperial Guardsmen are falling back. Does lose Palmas on one of those squads. Blue Squad as well. Mind drop ring done in. Blastmaster has been upgraded there. Chosen Plague Marines may. Oh, that's just regular Plague Marines. May need to fall back. Rango from Manticore has a missile launcher still up going. Punching the Manticore. It's not great. And wait, there's Daisy. Daisy has been pulled on the field. Multiblast her does go down. Now trying to overrun the Blastmaster. Does fall back nice and early, knocks it back a little bit. Like Marines, a severe damage could be wiped out as well. We got uh, Bloodless tying up, a, uh, tying up Daisy. Uh, grenade has been cast there by the Kaden Carpenter squad. And now we've got this force defense board. Imperial Guardsmen just may need to fall back. We got now a commando squad here. We'll find the Chosen Plague Marines and the uh, Bloodlers here up in melee. Vomit there. Artillery Flare rains on in. Manticore, actually. It does get the cast there by the by Daisy. Imperial Guardsmen advance more. Gains 50 damage there. You have now a Chaos Havoc in Plot Field. Like the eye for a Glass Cannon. Like the Marcus Inch variant. Ace is pushed way forward. Now a whole lot of defense here. Try to go for a limb rust. 
She has a lot amount, large amount of requisition. So as far as our save, now we've got the battle wagon base four, trying to crush the uh, artillery spotters there. Gets some great damage on the artillery spotters. The good pod guy, I for some more stormtroopers. They're pretty cheap in power. Maybe just some pure guardsmen. So she's going for a Lehman Russ. These forces, these uh, shooters need to reinforce. Got a Manticore Barrage raining on in. Right there. Hitting the Chaos Havoc squad, who's been upgraded with the Marcus Zinch for the last cannon. Does fall back nice and early. Bloodlers and Chosen Plague Marines advancing on forward. You see some upgrades there onto the Lord Kalmazar. Face of Brock is an incredibly powerful ability or weapon. Chosen Black Marines advance it forward, does force back one of the pure bars from there, the other one's falling back as well. It does stop it from retreating right there as well with the Lord Palmsar. Got the flag effect there, does lose, or Bell let us do teleport away and make die those landmines. Got Lean Rust Face Forward, upgrade of Tank for Ken for increased range. We got some zombie Imperial Guards in there, some of them falling back. That one does go down. Grenades running out from the King Carson squad. Did the Bloodletter Squad get wiped out? Bloodletter Squad did not get wiped out. We'll find some of these landmines there with the Chosen Plague Marines. Women may go down, but you will defuse a large number of them. The Junior Squad seems to have fire there. And Shooter does get wiped out by the King Carson Squad. Manticore Barrage running on in. Does seem to splash them there, most of the King Carson Squad. Bunker does go down to the Plague of Marines. Hang up the uh, Please water up a melee. Senior Mortar does come on in on top of the Mortar Blast Hurt. Not a great weapon for that purpose. In Rust, push before, gains some quick damage here. Daisy still in the region, gains some quick damage from their shooting squads. Sentinel being put on the field, I'm not sure why I was seeing Sentinel. She has quite a bit of power there, she may be eyeing for more Lehman Rust. Black Marine does need to fall back, does take up the most last turret there. Chaos Havoc set on up, going for another bunker now, maybe eyeing for a repair bunker. Both of these uh, Manticores are quite damaged, may want to eye for a repair bars just to get reinforced. Repaired, I should say. Ace is trying to overrun the uh, Lehman Rust now, does cancel that Sentinel, does go for a repair bars now for repairs. Lame Rust seem quite a bit damaged there, just these kids repairs. Take closer fires and folly there. Severe damage on Lame Rust getting repaired up by the Imperial Guardsman. I got the big cast there. Does he, Lame Rust just keep it a fire there. Daisy still has plenty of health. Does lose the Lame Rust now. Your guard squad does go down. Now got an napalm run there. Zone boys are against the hits there onto his forces. Does get the snare from the drum pistol and does force him back up. He's the knob leader. Now we've got tier 3 for the Plague Champion. Man, of course, same bit of fire there from these blood letters. And this is what let blood, not seal. Does lose one of those Manticores to the last cannon. Now the last cannon squad does need to fall back sooner rather than later. Blue does have triple capture in their favor, and red's rapidly decreasing tickets. That's just a stun shot there, thinks enhanced custom shooter. I guess that's shoot him good ability. He shot him shot the launcher guy pretty good. Saves the bunker. Last mess is setting on up, maybe a little bit too far forward. Eh, maybe it's a good spot there. Not can retaliate immediately. Last master does not fire a shot there. I think it's artillery flare. Oh, that's a Manticore barrage. 
Clone Troop Squad does hold back, so does Blastmaster. Good knockback there by the Kading Carson Squad. Smoke Round does connect. Oh no, that's a Cinderella Round. Kading's Carson Squad braving the fire. Daisy has not been fully repaired just yet, but she's been repaired quite significantly. Grenades running on. Bloodless teleport forward. Frozen plug grenades are pushing forward as well. Trying to get some slices there. I was looking for red. Red doesn't have a whole lot of DPS remaining. Perfectus has been activated. Gave some good damage there. It's good damage there. Got some plague chosen plug green uh, zombies here. There's a good number of them actually now. A lot of Imperial Guards. Battle Wagon gets a bit damage there. Nothing here to decapture the point. He's trying to decapture now with, uh, with a slower squad and does not decapture in time. Barely did not have enough time there. As Adam creates a thing of watching and on to next replay.